Getting a little low. Even lower there. Yikes. Everything is down. Hey, good morning, everybody. And what a difference a day makes. Got near 12 inches of rain yesterday. One of the darkest days I've ever seen. And I'll show you on the graph just how dark it was and all my systems are down. Still holding a little water here and the roads are holding quite a bit of water yet. But at this very moment, catching pretty good sun. And we drain this system down till the alarm came off or came on and shut it down and it was down to about 17% when that happened. And we're up to 20 now, but I've got it still shut off. And this system here, although it never did shut off, it's only showing 14% right now. I expect it to shut off any minute and the sun's just about to hit those panels. So I might just eek by on that one. And then this one, which is my backup, always ready to go, had to deplete that. Uh, it didn't actually shut off, but it got down to about 15% and was close. So I had to discontinue that one as well and try and let it charge up. There's a little bit coming in right now. So I'll take a peek at what yesterday looked like. Darkest day I think I've ever recorded. So right now I've got, i move that out of the sun there. I got 83 watts coming in, but let's go to yesterday and take a look. <laughs> and there's yesterday, 140 watt hours is all that was retrieved on that system. And that's got 700 watts of solar tied into it. So as you can see, I was doing okay. Uh, although I was really working it very hard the past few days, even though it wasn't the absolute best, I was draining it down using all kinds of appliances, having fun with it. And then on this system here, 500 watts of solar tied into it, only 69 watts at the moment. And yesterday, again, the darkest day ever. What'd we get? 90 watt hours <laughs> on a 500 watt array. And then on the 24 volt backup system, uh, what do we got now? 16 watts coming in right now uh, out of 300 available and yesterday. What did we get on that? 20 watt hours. So this 48 volt system is always running my refrigerator freezer 24 seven. It's currently not running anything as I try and let that get boosted up. This one here, I'm hoping will continue running the freezer, five cubic foot freezer. It's very low as I just showed you. And I'm hoping it will get enough today to keep that in action. And hopefully the backup one will catch a little bit to be used as a backup again. So now I've got the refrigerator freezer tied into this system in the back. And it's even a little low for, what do we got, 56%. But it's got a 1,000 watts of solar in sun right now. So this should ought to boost up there pretty good today. Everything's still running fine. So in the days leading up to yesterday, I was running a coffee maker off of that 48 volt system, running the air fryer, doing all kinds of cooking, showing off for my company how well solar works, just using this willy nilly and drawing the stuff down. And then of course we didn't see the sun <laughs> and we're chasing it around now. But everything worked great, but we did put a, put a discharge on those batteries as I showed you. And I've even got the portable panels out here right now, charging up the power station, which is this Opus 1800 watt. I was having to use this to make coffee the past few days while that 48 system was running out of power. And with 200 watts of solar available, you can see the sun's really not hitting it that good right now. It went down to 30% this morning and it turned off that coffee maker I just showed you, which draws about 1100 watts. So it wouldn't let me get it much lower than, well, at 30%, it kept just shutting the coffee maker off and giving me a little error up here. I assume that it was kicking in to not let it go lower than that to, to uh, keep the battery in good shape. So here in a little bit, hopefully we'll catch closer to 200 watts and get this back up there too, because 
This was the coffee maker for the past couple of days. But of course there's excess of water. And this array in the back of the house is not really catching good sun yet. Hopefully it will later and give those batteries a charge. But yeah, the water tank's been overflowing. It just stopped flowing out of its overflow right there with the last little shower we got. Excess water and hoping that these conditions continue a little bit today. I do have a couple of batteries fully charged, ready to change things out if need be. And of course I always do have a generator, but I'm trying not to use that. I've got batteries I can slip into place before I'd have to resort to that. I'm gonna to try to avoid even having to do that today. So yeah, every now and then that's how it goes. You know, you chase power around. We're jockeying it around a little bit today, keeping everything up and running. I think it's all gonna be fine. I may have to slip in a, a battery on that freezer system at some point today, but I've got a 200 amp hour fully charged, ready to slip that in there, which will easily uh, run everything. And yeah, that back chin system should keep the household running just fine today. It'll get pretty good sun, but yeah, not the greatest conditions. I mean, we've got a little blue sky peeking through here and there, but it's all good. So, yeah, we had an exciting time getting back in here. We'd made a little town run uh, yesterday, and the sky opened up and had to cross one puddle, engine compartment deep. And I probably should have gone around the block to avoid that, but I went ahead and trudged through it anyway. Made it very exciting for everybody, uh, what it's like back here. But yeah, on hindsight, I would have gone around the block on that one. I was risking uh, being stalled in that, and that would have been quite embarrassing, but it all worked out fine. So every now and then it goes like that. And then as I showed you guys on the log, uh, when it gets dark here, it can be so dark that, I mean, basically zero sun's coming in. Doesn't get that dark very often, but when at one point we were being alerted on our phones that was coming down at four inches an hour yesterday and it, uh, it was pretty serious rain. But yeah, the difference a day makes. Yeah, still not great, but we're catching some sunshine. But yeah, I was running the air fryer like crazy the past few days. And yeah, I've got company in here right now that um, I'm just saying, look at what we can do on solar, you know, making meatloaf, coffee, everything, high wattage appliances. And I could see the systems all going down, but I was like, okay, well, the sun will come out. Well, it didn't, <laughs> but that's okay. It will. And on the plus side, it had been a little dry, so the jungle is very, very happy. Everything got a good drink of water. The best of both worlds. And boy, here comes a good burst of sunshine, and it's getting up there now that all those back panels should start catching some sun here today. Oh, yep. And the pigs did a little damage here, but they didn't tear it up too bad before I chased them out of here. And they have not been back. All right, guys, just showing you how I do things when, when you have to kind of move fast to keep everything up and running. Yeah, that 48 volt system woke me up in the middle of the night, chirping out of power, had to switch it over to the back room. And uh, at least they tell you, at least they wake you up and say, hey, Nothing happening here, so everything's up and running, looking good. We'll catch back up eventually. And uh, still have not had to run that generator in a couple of years, I think, now. Uh, I wasn't so sure what today was gonna bring. They were saying it might be dark and rainy, but it's pretty good. So hope you guys are having a great day. Everything's good out here. Catch you on the next one. Aloha, everybody. Yeah, come on, son. <laughs>